Hey y'all, I don't know what we're gonna do, but we'll do something. All right, so yesterday we did uh, get out and we um, uh, planted uh, quite a few things actually. Uh, let's see, we got um, this row here is, whoop, went the wrong way, there we go. This row here is our cucumbers. Let me, uh, here I go again, let me turn the camera around. All right, so this row here, we planted um, our cucumbers. Mm, something stepped around that one, probably the dog. Um, these were our cucumber starts. And then from this one here to down here, about right here. Um, we did some seed. Uh, that way we'll have like a good early crop with the ones that have already started. And then we'll have um, a little bit of a later crop. Um, this section here uh, to that middle part right there. Um, and this side here will be um, butternut squash whenever we um, get ready to plant those. Um, and then the, this section here, um, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine rounds of zucchini, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, one, two, three, yeah, we got seven rounds of uh, squash, yellow squash. Um, these are the ones we started here, um, and then some nice friends at church gave us two starts of theirs. Um, I didn't pre-start any of my squash, um, so all those are just from seed. And then if you come down here, the other thing that we got planted um, yesterday was we did about half of our corn. We've got 10 rows of corn. Um, so we, we try to divide the garden in half. We have about a hundred foot garden. And so we divide it in half. So we have roughly, roughly 50 foot ish rows, give or take a, cute, a few like feet. Cause we try to separate it out. Um, but then we also use our tractor to run, I guess, our walking paths. Um, it hardens the ground out so it's easy to walk on. And then this is still really soft from where it was tilled. And then, yeah, and it won't grow, the, because it's so compacted in where the tractor tires was, it won't grow um, as many weeds. Um, and plus it'll get high foot traffic as well. But here we, for the corn, we actually use that spacing as a guide for um, planting our corn. And so we have a row of corn here and then a row of corn here that goes all the way down between each set of tractor tires. Um, so we have 10 rows of that, those, and then we'll come down here probably this coming weekend and plant um, the other half of our corn. We're thinking we'll probably get maybe five rows out of what we have left. So we'll get a good 10 rows of an early crop and then it'll give us a week to be able to, um, cause we, we, pro we, we process the majority of our corn anyways. We either freeze it or can it. And so this will make it easier to wear that we don't have to process it all at the same time which was a lot of work last year um, so we'll do these 10 rows here and then five maybe 10 but I doubt we'll get 10 out of what we have left um, down here um, I think that's all we got planted yesterday we're not gonna plant well we we will plant some uh, green beans we typically plant our beans the same time we do our corn but we have so much um, 
uh, so many cans of green beans that we well we have so many green beans that we have already canned uh, for previous years well from last year and the year before that we decided that we wouldn't um, grow as many green beans this year uh, so that we would just have space for something else um, and really we're adding more corn than what we did last year so that will be really helpful um, let's see what else but we are we are gonna we are gonna plant like maybe a row or two of green beans just so that we have some fresh uh, let's go look at the um, walk over here and look at the potatoes they are doing amazing it's about time to heal them up a little bit so we gotta get in there and heal them up just a little bit that'll also help with pulling the weeds the weeds out um, these first two rows here those were the ones that were in the gar or in the garage that we had it was left over from last year that went to seed so we we planted those and they, they they came up they actually came up first and they're doing really really well and then this these two rows here those are our seed potatoes that we bought um, and they're doing really well also um, been slowly trying to keep an eye out for potato bugs so far not any just yet we definitely will get them um, yeah I'm not seeing any they look pretty good not a lot of bug damage either so that's that's really good let's see what else can I oh yeah let's go look at the um, cabbages and kohlrabi so we use kohlrabi almost as like a cabbage and we use it for a slaw I've made slaw with it um, I also cook it almost like a potato um, do like little dices of it and cook it like roast it in the oven that is really good um, we just really like it there they take up a lot less space than a cabbage does because cabbages they get quite big like they expand out real like a whole lot um, and kohlrabis they stay relatively tiny and they grow upwards instead of out so um, we really like the kohlrabis. Um, let's see, I guess the last two things that we have planted that are seem to be doing really well. And don't mind the weeds, that, that's what we're doing right now. Um, right here, these two rows here, those are the uh, garlic that we planted last year, at the end of last year. They're getting very much closer to being picked and we were thinking that they would probably be picked the first part of June they get picked late spring early summer um, but we might try we might pick them a little sooner because we're noticing that the leaves are starting um, the little stalks the little stalks they are starting to turn color and that's roughly the sign that you want to see whenever they're about ready to be picked so um, we might start picking them here in the next maybe we might do early or early or mid-may for those um, and then over here we have our onions and these were little tiny tiny green things through there that's a nice sized one um, these were our um, our bulbs that we planted um, I think we actually planted them at the same time that we did the uh, kohlrabi and cabbage. Um, they're doing amazing, and as you can see, they're getting pretty big. And then down here, last year I did the experiment of starting them from seed and growing them that way. 
and they did really well and those were actually my largest bulbs um, that I got uh, when I did that last year and even from like you see how big that is already um, last year these little itty bitty ones that I started and that's basically what they look like whenever I planted them a bit smaller than that when I planted them um, they these made bigger bulbs than my uh, starting the bulbs that I planted so these are my seed so they're a lot smaller a little harder to see um, but I expect them to do really really well they did really really well, well last year and I actually just finished up eating the the ones that we planted last year but yeah today we're weeding um, it's Sunday so we'll probably have a little bit of a lighter day than our work day yesterday I didn't film anything yesterday just because I was very much focused on trying to get um, trying to get everything done in time I didn't want to be out um, out planning all day and so we actually got that about five o'clock so that was pretty good and we even went to a yard sale yesterday morning so, <laughs> so we did we did really really well I uh, don't think I don't know if I'll get if I do anything else I'll pick up the camera um, if not um, you'll get it maybe get an update next week when we plant a few more things we're so it's it's funny because I always I, I'm always feeling like I'm behind on planting I feel like oh I don't have this and I don't have that and I don't have that out and I feel like I, I feel like last year we had this done and that done and um, and then last week we had or this past week we had a frost advisory so, <laughs> so I was really glad that I didn't have anything all my plants out um, so yeah oh I guess I can show you guys our our meat turkeys so we got them out in the chicken tractor they didn't do too well Hi, they didn't do too well. We, we tried to put them out in the uh, coop with the big turkeys. Um, they were a bit smaller than this whenever we did. Um, and that didn't go very well. So we brought them back to the garage. Um, we did have meat turkeys in here until last weekend. So we put our turkeys. Once we got those done, we put the turkeys out here. And they are so much happier. Aren't you guys? Oh, goodness. You are so good. Yes. He's a good turkeys. Hi, buddy. Yeah. So, yeah. We'll give you another update when I've got another update. <laughs> Alright, so change of plans. Um, we are doing more. We're harvesting the garlic today. <laughs> um, we were over there weeding and we were looking at them and I was like, they're... they're they're turning brown and Michael was noticing that the 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 bottom leaves there were hanging over and I was like ah, I got I had a feeling I wasn't quite sure if they needed to be harvested yet um, so he was like well we'll just look it up and Google, good old Google uh, came in and said once the bottom two leaves turn yellow or brown and kind of fall over. They're ready to be harvested. So, oh, I'll go grab me a chair. So we're gonna harvest our garlic today, and oh, I'll show you what we do with it. How we're gonna, how we'll uh, store it, and cure it, and get it ready. We'll get cure it to get it ready to be stored. So, oh, so I'll update you here in just a minute. Ooh. And this is how we are going to store them. Um, we've got uh, bunched them up about 10 bulbs to a bunch. Um, and then I've tied it off with some twine. Um, another way that you can do it is that you can actually braid 
each stalk together. That, and that's what I did with them last year as I braided them. But I had plenty of time to do that last year and today I'm in, I don't have enough time to do it today. So, but tying them off works as well. Um, so we'll hang them up in our, um, our canning pantry, the pantry that we use for all of our um, garden processed stuff. Um, Cause it's dark, we can close the door and it'll be dark and it's nice and cool in there. And they'll hang there and cure for about two or three weeks. And then that's how, like whenever you, here, I'll show you. So we got, we got our bulb there. And it has this little layer. I don't know if you can see it. It's wanting to blur. Um, but everybody knows what garlic looks like that you get from the grocery store. So it has that little layer on the outside of it. Um, oh, come on and focus. It makes it so much better. There we go. Um, and then hanging it like that is what gives it that layer on the outside. You also want to try to get as much of the dirt that you can off of these roots. Um, that'll help it dry out a little bit faster. And cleaner. You don't have a big mess. So yeah, we got a nice, this is just our first row. I've got one, two, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six bunches, so that's about 60 bulbs in our first row. Um, and then there's a few extra bulbs in there where the stems broke off. But yeah, we had a great, I'm very pleased with this. Um, with this harvest, the garlic clucks so good. And it smells good too. It smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. All right, so this is what we're putting our garlic. Um, it's just a closet that we have under our stairs that we've turned into a, a canning closet um, and storage closet. Um, so it already had this little coat hanger thing there and so we just got some uh, wire coat hangers and draped them over the coat hanger and got them hanging up and I think we counted 13 bunches um, the last few had a quite a few more than 10 in it just because I was trying to hurry up um, but um, there's roughly 10 in each bundle plus maybe five to ten more um, and then we had some of these that the the stalks pulled off of them so we got them laying on this little plastic tray so they can dry out and have some good garlic so yeah that looks amazing